Greetings everyone, hello and welcome back to N1800 to, well, our Asian garden that we kind of like built in the last episode and I didn't do it justice, honestly. Uh, one thing was that I didn't find the right fountain that we have here in the middle, of course, because this park offers a bit more than just that. Um, and we're going ahead here and we're going to fix this ASAP because it is bothering me. And the reason for that is why we did find it is the sorting type, right? In the um, sorting type with the progress, the item is just not there. And this is really a bit confusing about the sorting types because they don't really include all the items. You need to know which items are included. Otherwise, well, you're going to be a bit screwed. So let's go back to the type setting. And in here we do have then the Dragon Garden pack. And now we have the full ornaments that actually these parks here include. And one of them, that is actually the one that I wanted to get here, is the Garden of Serenity, of course. Um, for that, however, I would like to change things around there a bit. So we're going to get rid of this area there. It doesn't always need to be symmetrical, right? I mean, it's going to be symmetrical anyway, but just differently. So the entrance is over there now, um, and we then have this beautiful garden right over there with a bit of a pond there as well, right? And probably going to push it a bit further. There you go. So that we have a few more trees in the back that we can then also add. Unfortunately, these trees here, so the wishing tree, they have the strange pavement in it. So there is no other way to get the pavement gone, right? Because I, I definitely would like to have a bit of a normal park there as well. So I'm going to add a bit of a temperate growth there as well to the back. And this should then things uh, fix things up a bit. So it's a bit greener overall. And with that, I like the park a lot more already because of these ornaments here. Just lovely overall and a nice retreat for anyone that would like to join. Now, of course, we're back to the greater thing um, that we have here. The first thing I need to do ASAP is really um, finishing my defenses in Tovi before the next major attack comes in. My penguin already delivered some ships over. That would be these four flamethrowers, 400 tons of weapons, uh, costing me also 32 influence. And look at that, we're down to 40 influence only now. So for those of you who suggest I should add more buildings. How should I do this? Uh, of course, upgrading now to investors would solve a lot of problems. They could also cause a lot of new problems because the AI also advances then quite significantly in power. So I do need to, to be very careful about how I would like to advance. For now, these four towers will be fine, right? So I'm not going to add more. Um, this is really quite a bit and we might then just also add a few ships to Tovi to further protect it. Uh, those ships actually have some cargo, those four I would like to take. And we're going to make a small stop at Eli, selling some of those goods and then move on to Tovi. So we have a few battleships over there as well. Of course, the primary thing for me is to build battleships my own. It's still taking a bit of time because, yeah, we do need resources. First of all, we do need workers. We have the major problem over here. There is, yep. Uh, this this block here that is not looking so great. So let's delete a few farmers over there and build us a nice hospital district. We do actually have a lot of options here. And I think for this one, I would like to go ahead with one of my bigger uh, medical buildings here now that is the sanatorium. Uh, this one is really powerful and I think we're going to replace one of my... We're just going to build it like that over here. Hmm, that might also be an option. So let's actually move these buildings there a bit away. These are never going to be permanent. They never really have a home, unfortunately. It's, it's poor. It's it's very uh, pitiful for them. And then we're going ahead with all of these. And then we can have a nice sanatorium right here. And I would like to do this. It's not only beautiful, it also adds a lot of efficiency to the doctors, right? Um, and it also has a nice range to it. So let's just see where we would have a nice entrance. I think this is actually something... Or uh, this one. I think I like this one more because it looks out to the green area then a bit more. And let's build it. It's not really that expensive when you would think about something like that. Uh, we might actually might actually move these guys here still a bit further away. So that this entrance here is kind of like aligned with the main road. Right? So that people can actually enter. And the cool thing is you can then have a main road in here that goes over there and also over there. Connecting the remaining of the city with this and this will probably just end in a smaller park All right it's a beautiful building really and this is now training the doctors and i think we can have up to five in here um that will then treat my patients my plagued ridden patients uh let's move this chapel and i think we're going to need a few more chapels over here right those people check it out 
There is one, there is one for these guys up here. We can add another one. And very important too, some of those workers don't have a school yet. It's especially those guys here. And I think those guys here, there's also a school missing. So let's add it to the area. Uh, something like that should be fine. Let's get rid of those farmers. And there is a nice school right here in the center of things. So these people also have a place for their kitties to go to. Um, also, yeah, we can go ahead and upgrade a lot of farmers. We have lots of them and we don't need them really. So let's go ahead. I have 1,400 there still. This whole area can be upgraded. That's just great. Uh, these guys here. Let's go ahead. Push them and also over there more. 800. Mm, over there, it's very important that we continue as well. I mean, we have the plague here right now, so it's getting a bit tricky. But once it's gone, uh, we will be able to rebuild them, of course. And move my workers more towards this area too. Uh, we also still have farmers over here. Certainly not required. Uh, close to the arbor area right and with that we're at least at a thousand workers again that's something money wise i don't really care about the worker income it's not that significant meanwhile miss hunt's fleet is almost back to full strength lucky for us she's still using also wooden ships like we do so there is no big jump in power yet um we got the monitors of course as their steamships but that's about it. The Admiral is a bit more advanced in this area, so he's got more battle cruisers now. And yeah, almost the same amount as his wooden ships. Uh, Princess Ching, meantime, I think she's not focusing on big fleets there at the moment. That's her fleet that we have. But she's got a battleship. So there, actually, she's got the, the strongest steamship that we can have right now, um, up to the World Warships then as well, of course, and the Dreadnought. But this is still pretty advanced already and will do a lot of damage to us. So we should continue with some weapon production, right? We have the basic weapon production. I'm fine with that. We are looking here at 150 tons right now with a rate of eight to 11 tons per minute coming in. Now, the other next level of weapons would be the advanced weapons. And this is a bit tricky. The advanced weapons do need dynamite and they do need the Soul Peter. The Soul Peter, there is no way we can get this. I can, of course, settle on another island with Soul Peter and we'll probably be able to keep this island for a couple of minutes before we get conquered, but it would be a waste of resources and a waste of time. So we need to use the Docklands, unfortunately, for this, um, for this good. So let's have a look at that again. We do have the potatoes. We don't need the potatoes anymore because I can just get some potato farms out there again for the few farmers and workers that we still have, right? So demand should be pretty low. So let's go ahead and use the Docklands here to get the Salt Peter in. Now, the ratio, I'm not entirely sure yet. We're probably going ahead with 200. I just want to use that already first cycle here coming in again for the Salt Peter. This is probably too much already. So let's check it out. Um, we do need for that. We do need... I'm probably aiming it to, let's say, three heavy weapon factories, right? That would be three tons of advanced weapons per minute, which is a lot. This would be a consumption of three dynamite, which would reduce, or well, would be three saltpeter per minute that we consume with that, because the dynamite is producing every minute. And this would actually lead to only 60 saltpeter that we need every cycle. So um, with a bit of a buffer, we could actually go with 100, and this would be already really fine. So this is a small amount. The biggest um, cost here actually is that we need to use a slot, right? But that's it. Especially since my soap is getting more valuable as we progress, we will need less and less soap. We might actually, yeah, with 100, we could actually push four advanced weapon factories at this point, and we are still golden. That's that. Now, dynamite is the next production in line together with the rendering works. Let's first of all fix that schnapps production that we still have going. So as we can see, the consumption is at 23. It's higher than I thought it would be. Um, so 23 schnapps, let's say 25 schnapps that we would need uh, per minute. And this would lead to, I think around, if we look at this right, so they have the same ratio. So 13 potato farms would be my go-to here to meet demand already. Uh, we can do this up here in this area for now. Don't forget that, yeah, we're probably could import schnapps at some point just straight away with the Docklands once farmer and worker population grows even smaller. Or, yeah, shrinks even smaller, that is. So 13 of them, let's just quickly build them over there out here in the, in the Crown Falls region, really. So there we have it, 13 potato farms, really quick and easy. Let's get us a few upgraded warehouses here along the way, plus a fire station, just in case. I don't think the farmers are going to riot. 
Uh, might be surprised on that one small, but I, I'll take the risk for now. This will then supply my schnapps distilleries that we still have working and whoosh. Um, we no longer need the Docklands for the moment, at least for that. A bit more agrarian industry after all, again. Now with that, we have two things already working out in our advanced production. The next in line would be the rendering works um, where we, yeah, we do have the piggies coming in, of course. We do have the rendering works. Do we have a surplus here for the tallow? No, we don't. So we do need to do two things here. First of all, we have... 14 i will probably they're producing at one i will need three more for the dynamite factories that means i need up to 17 and that would lead to 17 pigs that we need let's actually round it up to 18 pigs and as we can see we're at 800 though so we would only need around 360 400 with the buffer the problem though is that of course we have also the sausage makers this leads to a total demand of 27 which is actually then significant let's round it up to 30 which is then 600 per cycle which is 650 with the boot with a buffer right so even then we are far ahead here of what we actually need so i can safely just go ahead and build me additional rendering works uh we're probably going to do it up here and I probably could also use the new upgraded industries for this. So let's go ahead and have a look at the advanced production. And there it is, the large rendering work that is actually producing twice as fast as a normal one. Is it one? No, it's actually four times as much, right? Because it's producing at a rate of 15. It can be further improved by electricity to double that output once more. So this is a really powerful building that saves us space. Of course, it's not entirely balanced, right? Because with these, you do essentially save space and money as well. But at this point for these productions here, look at that, it's only tier two productions. It's not really that much of a deal, right? So I'm not considering myself here cheating or anything. So let's go ahead and build us one of these bad boys right over here. And this is then already all the additional tallow that we're ever going to need for the foreseeable future at least. It's a nice building though, right? It even has a tree on board. I love this modern community. Thank you for this. It's also really looking beautiful and detailed. Not working yet though, of course, as it's still waiting for its supply of pigs coming in. 10 tons it takes with one cart. That poor horse. Fortunately, it goes a bit up uh, down the hill there when, when it delivers, right? There you go. Oh, the smell. It must be fantastic. This is one of them. Now with that, we can finally go ahead and build us the dynamite factories. For this, we do need a bit more space once more. So we have uh, the electrical power plant right over here. We're boosting this area just fine. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to make some room here because, of course, we don't need the windows that close. We also don't really need to boost the window production for the foreseeable future. So let's just have the window makers over there. Um, the glass maker, I can't hurt to keep this one electrified, though. Uh, with that, let's make sure that we have a proper connection here lined up and also the main road continues. Now we can actually focus on what's important. That is the dynamite factories. We don't really need to boost them, even though, of course, it's nice to have. So let's just check it out. This area is still being electrified. So yeah, let's just go ahead and also um, boost the dynamite factories. Three of what we need here as well. Uh, I think we actually should have the main building on the other side. So I'm also starting to yeah look a bit more for that here. I'm having those three. You know what? Actually, this was a mistake. Uh, we only need two of them if I'm boosting them, of course. That's fine, right? So we saved the 1,000 maintenance cost of one of them as it's not the end of the world, of course, but still, why overproduce when you, we don't need it? For the Docklands, perhaps, now that I think about it, since dynamite is pretty cheap to produce. We'll just see how it goes. This is then leading new to four that we have. We already have the steel furnace um, surplus, so that's all we need, really. We can now go ahead and build us those heavy weapon factories. I would really like to squeeze in three here. This will be some magic that we need to do. Um, we can actually go ahead and move a bunch of these as the production here is still electrified, right? So this is all going to be fine for me. I think we don't need to move this one. Yeah, and so it goes. There they are, all three of them. Should we build them right away? I think we should. 255,000 credits. That's okay. The rest of the building materials we can easily afford. It's going to be a hit on my balance here, but that's fine. As with this... Um, we really, really built for the future, of course, here, as this finally opens up then the advanced ships. And with that, steamships, battleships, dreadnoughts, world warships, all in all. We have the furnaces now. We have even a bit more space here for other factories if I want to, and even some ornaments, perhaps, at some point. You know what? Let's actually go ahead and do this right now. We do have the cosmetics for the industry zone. 
Oh boy, this is already looking pretty nasty. Uh, we can have also some pavement there and perhaps also a cargo shed or something. There you go. Just something that makes sense along the along the factory here, right? And with that, we have it. And then we can just go ahead with a low wall, perhaps. Perhaps a low wall here is actually a better option that we have. There you go, leading them all the way to that smaller zone. And look at that, the furnaces are fuming. A new production comes to light, and with that, three tons of advanced weapons enter the market now per minute. How very great! Yeah, after some time, things have also recovered a bit over there, so the plague is almost gone. We are working now here at four doctors it is, all right? So this is now in effect. Uh, we might actually then, with paving the roads, add, um, increase its range. We don't have that much bricks or that many bricks um, if we if we add it all up. So let's actually go ahead and increase the range of my of my avenue here that goes into the industry zone. But other than that, hmm, yeah, I, I thought we would actually have more bricks by now. So there is something I need to focus once more as well. Let's also hmm, build a few more farmers. Shall we do this? I think over here, I could just go ahead and copy this whole block into this area there. This should be working. Just look at this, because we do need a bunch more farmers. This is fine. Yep. And then we can just have a row of buildings here as well. And then probably up there as well. As a bit low on the farmer side here. Lots of workers though that we can upgrade. We should be doing this. Also here there's farmers. Let's upgrade those guys here. Of course we used a few farmers with the fields. So that's always a bit of a problem. Uh, and then go ahead here and upgrade workers to artisans. This is, this is more important. Right up here. And this will of course also lower than for example the schnapps consumption. Stuff like that. Um, and we can further tone it down on the potato farms. These guys here I will not touch for the moment. There is a few more that we can upgrade. As the city continues to grow. Also here, this tiny industry zone that we had. Very good. Over here we would be able to upgrade way more. This is an interesting question. So I think we're going to move those guys away at some point. These guys here I will keep those. So we can actually go ahead and build us that chapel. Yeah, having the chapel next to the sanatorium makes a bit sense to me. <laughs> If someone dies, they get their treatment then right away. And here we can just have, of course, a block with a courtyard in between as well. This makes sense to me. Not that many workers, actually. These guys here. Yeah, we built the school for them. So let's go ahead and have them upgraded to the proper next level. So that we have some beautiful artisans also over here. Popping up now that far outside of the city. 7,000 artisans is a lot. We still have some resources left. Let's also go ahead and upgrade more of them to engineers. I would like to... Yeah, these guys here. I would like to push a bit to that side here then too, I think. There is a bunch of them that can still do it. And then we're out of resources. Actually, timber first before bricks. propaganda let's go with the negative consumption there as usual and then keep some bit of happiness there and a bit of well a bit of well, right chance reduction does that sound unsafe we could actually yeah completely get rid of the income bonus at this point let's just see what it does yeah it drops us to twenty one thousand. this is actually quite severe Thirty thousand less per minute but i think we should calculate with that some now from now on right so totally get rid of the income um propaganda there it looks a bit like there is like a lot of movement over here. Yep, it's Miss Hunt against the pirate once more. This helps us out, of course, because she's busy somewhere else and ignores us for the moment. There's a lot of pirate ships. All the pirate ships are concentrated here in Miss Hunt's territory right now. They are still fighting against each other while we already... Yeah, we can be safe with the alliance with the pirate. And I haven't even looked at that, of course. The pirate offers a lot of juicy items then that I would like to use once we have the steamships. Once in a while, I also have to look at Eli. Unfortunately, no interesting items for the moment. Yeah, I also should not forget about Manolo. Adding some more defenses here is actually pretty vital. Um, up there, of course. And spreading it out makes sense as well. So, of course, we need to continue um, protecting the channel that we have there. And then we need more weapons again as usual. But 
for the moment no big attack is coming in. Um, even though they have a lot of ships in the region, right? So, especially Princess Ching is looking pretty dominant in the new world. And yes, with the first advanced weapons coming in, so we are already sitting at 37 tons, uh, we can actually go ahead now and build the new tower that I really need, and that is the anti-armor gun. And for that, uh, we do have a bit of space then over there still available to us. It's those sand mines that's bugging me out a bit. Um, I probably will also still have to move them, or we are moving some of those flamethrowers, because I really need a bit more diversity. There is over there the option... Oh, wait a second, let's get them a bit further inside, actually, so they're a bit protected, because flamethrowers I have plenty of. But the anti-armor stuff, I don't. So I definitely want to definitely want to spread out there a bit without hurting too much my efficiency there. And there it is. Anti-armor gun fires armor-piercing rounds at high speed to penetrate metal hull ships. Less effective against wooden hull ships. It does 40 damage per second. But the old metal hull ships get 150% damage bonus on top of that. And this is what I would like to use here. We also have the big baddie is a very high damage per hit 56 it is so it's a, it's a bit more than the anti-armor gun but it does do not get this 150 percent bonus to metal hull ships so i really would like to add this one for the moment um and we can have one here one here and probably then a few more over there but that's the first two of them dealing a high amount of damage then to metal ships just out of curiosity, how is my military score at the moment looking with all of those guns? We're at 287, twice as strong as the pirate, of course. The AI is still twice as strong as we are, but we have caught up a bit, right? They're not that far away at the moment, especially since, yeah, Miss Hunt, for example, is busy with the pirate. Now, resources are in. Huh? It's always the funny thing. Let's go ahead with more upgrades. We still have 900 workers, though we are going to need a few more for the next step that I want to do. Uh, let's just have a look. Yeah, no, that's fine. Let's go ahead and have a few more people to engineers here especially. We get 7,000 artists and it's bloated. Honestly, we need more engineers if I want to make this right, right? So 7,000 artisans is way too much, of course, for a city this size. One thing I would like to do is, I would like to remodel, oh wait a second, yeah, I would like to remodel this industry zone that we have up there, um, make it a bit more efficient. So for starters, I can actually get rid of all of these rendering works. We have 14 of them in total, and as we know, the advanced rendering works here is producing four times as much. That means we do need three and a half to counter that. Let's make it four. Actually, we could just keep this one as a half, right? Because it's also producing for the dynamite. And just build us three more and we would be golden already. So let's go ahead and do this. They're also not that expensive. Well, let's just make sure that they are actually looking proper towards each other. And this would already be enough for the whole. I think it is. Yeah, tiny wise not. We do need actually one more. There you go. And with that, we have them all lined up actually have them really all lined up and i'm going to keep one buffer for the future of course they can also elect be electrified at some point though for these low level goods i don't want to waste my um precious oil at the moment doesn't make sense to me right with that we have them over there we have a few more of these well high value productions that we have so for example also here the soap maker would be producing six soap per minute if we build it once again, it's also three times faster than a soap factory. So instead of these six soap factories, we probably only need two really to counter the whole thing. Let's just have a look at my soap anyway. Um, we're still having a nice surplus here of up to seven at the moment. And of course, for these 14, yeah, let's go ahead, get rid of them. Poof, off it goes. And have, actually, we only need two here. Let's make it three so this is a bit proper. We could actually make a block of four since soap is something that that we export so to me it makes a bit more sense to yeah have the full circle here it does cost a few resources though but that should be fine let's actually go ahead and make the block complete here and this one you know it's an industry zone we can still however also add a few ornaments from time to time to this zone just in case let's build the first one once again also a beautiful beautiful building Yeah, as it happens, of course, my undefended coastline is getting raided again by Miss Hunt. It's just some fishermen here that are getting attacked, so it would be easy for me to replace it. However, of course, it's kind of like also like an insult, so I should not 
did idle here. We do have a four ships close by. And of course, we're going to mobilize them and get them over. I don't really have a lot of ships at the moment, so this will have to do. We got a few more bricks in again, so it's time for me to build the second soap maker again. With this, my production is up to par again to what we used to. Now, next up, we have the sausages and the bakeries. Um, this is also interesting, right? So we have the normal slaughterhouse that is producing every minute. And we have the improved version then here that produces six per minute. And of course, we want to do this because, yeah, it saves space. It also looks more elegant than having these batteries kind of like lined up here like this. So I would like to go ahead with this. Um, actually, we have this block here that is producing six and we have those that produce six. And that would lead to two of them that we only need. I mean, it has a nice size, of course. So two of them, that's it. And I probably will have to move them around. It doesn't really matter for I know where the entrance is. Right, but of course for the looks it definitely should look proper. And then we have also my bakery production. This is producing three bread per minute um, and we are producing right now eight per minute. Right, so let's also have three of them lined up. Once again, this should be fine. The size of it is a bit smaller um, and we can then line them up like this to add more production. Look at how much space we actually saved. Plus also I think it's just so much more elegant having a few uh, bigger buildings than having smaller buildings spammed all over the place. And with that, we actually can get rid of all of these bakeries here, the blueprinted versions, the slaughterhouses, and save a lot of space essentially for more city building, more ornaments, stuff like that. Yeah, well, an overall better city, I should say. Stay tuned!